This is the Washington Huskies 2008 football media guide. This is quarterback Jake Locker. This is defensive end Daniel Tio Nesheim. And this, on the other side of the camera, is Don Ruiz of the Huskies Insider Blog and the Tacoma News Tribune. The Huskies did something pretty innovative with their media guide this season, and I thought you might like to see it. Uh, in order to do so, however, I'll have to give you just a quick little bit of history on changes in media guides in recent seasons. Up until recently, media guides could be as big as anyone wanted them to be. And this is the Notre Dame guide from uh, 2003, and it reached almost 500 pages thick. And this was not the thickest by any means. Um, so. Just a few years ago, the NCAA decided to limit the size of media guides because this was becoming an arms race um, of creating the biggest, flashiest guide, and some of the smaller schools were being left behind, put at a competitive disadvantage. So the NCAA decided to limit all media guides to 208 pages. This is the 208-page media guide that the Huskies used last season. And while it fell into line by being smaller than Husky Media Guides before the NCAA regulations, it was a pretty traditional guide in the sense that it was a media guide meant for the media. It was it included a lot of statistical information, a lot of Husky history, the results of every bowl game they'd ever played in, every letter winner in the history of UW football, the results of every season and every game that Washington has ever played. A lot of records and other material that you would turn need to if you're covering a ball game. Information, of course, on the coaching staff. And then up front, these relatively modest capsules on each player, including a pretty standard mugshot. But all of the information that you would need uh, on their careers up until this point. For the coming season, most of that information, a lot of that statistical information, was banished. And instead, the Huskies decided to get around the 208 page rule by going, in effect, to two media guides. The first one is a spring guide, and this is where all of that gray statistical material has been banished. Here you'll see a lot of things that are familiar. Every game that the Huskies have ever played. All-time letter winners. Lots of statistics. More statistics. More statistics. Pretty much everything that you would need during the course of covering a ball game. So with the spring guide carrying that load, that freed the Huskies to produce this as their official guide for the coming season. And this is less of a media guide and more of a recruiting guide. That's been the trend recently in the South and in the Midwest, although the Washington Huskies are the first of the Pac-10 schools to do this. And when I say do this, what did they do? As I mentioned, they got rid of the statistics from this guide, and that freed them to use these pages as a more traditional recruiting guide, things that would they can put in front of high school recruits to make them think what a great place Washington would be to attend. They still have information on the coaches, but also a much increased emphasis on what it would like, what it's like to be a Husky. Not so much the Rose Bowl information as the fun of going to a Rose Bowl, the fact they have gone to Rose Bowls. The fact that there's a proud Husky tradition, which you, the high school recruit, can be a part of. Lots of information on what it is like to be a student on campus. And perhaps most of all, much more space for each player, a full page, and in addition to the mugshots, cool poses what it's like to be a Washington Husky.
This one probably works much better for the recruits and therefore is a success for its purpose. Coach Tyrone Willingham praised it. He was glad that the Huskies are ahead of the Pac-10 curve on this. And for the sports writers, just minimal inconvenience in addition to carrying this press guide around all season. We'll also have to carry the Sagamon.